Hello Mashkins! In this video, I'm going to be showing off five different South African slime accounts and I'm super super excited about this video because all five of these accounts are amazing and there are some really 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 awesome slimes shown off in this video. If you would like to find out more about these different slime accounts, all of their details are linked in the description of this video. First up, we have this beautifully wrapped package from Dream Jelly. I've been following them for a while now on Instagram and all of their posts make me so, so, so happy. The first thing that drew me to their account was their beautiful logo. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just makes me happy looking at it. And in this beautifully wrapped box, I got some ready-made activator and a little card to explain how to use the activator and how to mix it, etc. And then I also got this cute little business card along with all of my slimes. And everything came so beautifully wrapped. Everything was so colorful. And the packaging inside the box also just made me really, really happy so this was just an overall really fun experience to unbox first up we have this beautiful mermaid themed clear slime this one was a hundred rand and it came in this super durable screw top container it was a little bit difficult to take the slime out of the container but nonetheless i really really enjoyed squishing the microfoam beads into the slime it gave a delicious crunch and then throughout the slime you have this beautiful mix of sparkle given by the different little glitters and bingsu beads that were in the slime and this is meant to be a clear slime but i felt a little maybe i don't know maybe i was imagining it but i felt a tiny mixture of snow powder in it i think maybe it's to add a little bit of thickness to the slime but i really really enjoyed the slime it was super super stretchy it wasn't as thick as i personally like my clear slimes to be but it was still super super stretchy and it made awesome bubble pops. Next up we have this incredibly beautiful swilled clay slime. This one was 80 rand and it came in this really gorgeous screw top container with a beautiful logo on top of the jar and this swilled clay slime reminded me of a beautiful sunset it was absolutely gorgeous and it had a tiny sprinkle of foam beads on the top i was quite interested to see how the foam beads would react with the clay slime because usually the beads just pop out of clay slime the slime was super stretchy and thick the foam beads did come out a little bit but it didn't really bother me that much i was mesmerized by the color mixing process of all these beautiful colors coming together it was absolutely gorgeous and the slime also had a faint fruity smell to it that was just absolutely amazing Next we have this gorgeous swirled slime and it's made up of some blue and neon yellow. I absolutely loved the color combo of this one and the slight sparkle on top. I really, really enjoyed mixing this one together. This one was a hundred rand and it's meant to be a cloud slime, but it more felt like a thick icing slime to me i didn't really get it to drizzle at all as you will see in a little bit i really struggled to drizzle it but it was still a super 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 thick icing slime and it had a very yummy sort of lotion type scent to it that was really really pleasant I also really, really loved the end color of the slime after mixing the yellow and the blue together, which is really gorgeous green color. And 
And then lastly, we have this super, super fun Easter themed mixing box for 160 Rand. And in this box, you get a bunch of different goodies, including these little foam bead shaped carrots, as well as some slime, some more slime in Ziploc baggies that you can use to drizzle over the other slimes and you can use all these different little decorations to decorate the slimes. I think it is so much fun and it is so creative and I'm so excited to open it up and to see what I got in the box. This was such a fun kit to unbox and play with. I ended up mixing everything together and I ended up with a really thick sort of clay slime type slime with lots of foam beads mixed into it. It was so, so, so much fun. In total, my order came to 525 Rand, which is just over 36 US dollars. I really enjoyed all of the slimes in this box. Everything was so beautifully presented and it was just fun to unbox everything and to mix them all together. All the colors were so vibrant and beautiful. So definitely go and check out their Instagram page and their shop. All the details will be in the description of this video. The next slime account that I will be reviewing in this video is the slime box. And as I opened up the box, I was so incredibly excited because the logo looks so beautiful. All the slimes were so beautifully packaged and all the glitters just made me super excited as well. I ordered two slimes as well as a glitter slime kit. So as I opened up the box, I realized that they included some freebies for me, which I'm super, super thankful for. And I was really excited to try out all of these slimes. All of the slimes were packaged in these super durable containers and I think this big one called Bright Lights is a 280 ml quantity so you get quite a lot of slime. This one cost 80 Rand which is a really good price for a clear slime. I was so excited to play with this one because it was one of the most beautiful clear slimes I've ever seen. I love the combination of these glitters in this beautiful light pink slime. I added a little bit of activator to the slime and as I mixed in the activator it turned into this incredibly thick and stretchy clear slime. This was honestly one of my favorite clear slimes that I have ever received in a package. It was so 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 much fun to play with and it made awesome bubble pops and crackles. Next we have a free slime that they included for me. This is a 125ml super crunchy slime called Lemon Crunchy and this one also had a really beautiful mixture of glitters mixed throughout and it was so 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 crunchy. I always get super excited when I get to play with crunchy slimes. They are just so satisfying and they make the best sounds. This slime also had quite a yummy fresh lemon type scent to it which was really really nice and I just really overall loved the slime it made awesome awesome crackles and crunches Here we have the next free slime that was included. This one is another 125ml crunchy slime called Cake Batter Crunch. And 
I was so incredibly excited to play with this one because of how yummy it looks and because I absolutely love crunchy slimes. This one was also super, super crunchy and it didn't really have a scent to it. I thought it might be scented like chocolate or cake batter or something. If it was scented, then it was very light because I didn't really pick it up. But nonetheless, it was still a super crunchy, awesome slime to play with. I loved the sprinkles that were mixed into it. It just made it look so, so, so yummy. Another thing that I absolutely loved about this package was the beautiful labeling of all the slimes as well as the logo labels on top of the slimes. It's so professionally done and it just looks so beautiful as well. Anyway, back to the slime review. This is the next slime that I ordered. This one is called Sparkle Puff and again you get 280 mils of slime and this one was 100 rand. It was a beautiful, beautiful multicolored cloud slime slime covered in sparkles on top and at the bottom of the slime. The slime was a little bit difficult to puff up. I think it's maybe meant to be a cloud slime but to me it felt like a blend between a cloud and an icing slime. It was very stretchy and it sort of puffed up slightly like a cloud slime would do but it doesn't didn't drizzle like a cloud slime but nonetheless it was still super fun to play with it was so stretchy and I just loved seeing all the different sparkles and things throughout the slime. I decided to add a glitter slime kit to my order as well to try and test out some DIY glue mixtures to see what the resulting slime would be. I got the glitter slime kit for 260 Rand but I think they added a lot of extras to the kit. I think that the kit was only supposed to come with some clear glue and activator and some sprinkles and things but this one came with some white glue as well and gold leaf and lots of little goodies for me to mix into the slimes so I was really excited to try it out and I'm super thankful for in case it was added extras. I decided to add the glue to my mixing bowl and then I added a little bit of the activator that they provided and I started mixing. The Clear glue looked very, very liquid to me, which was a little bit of a warning sign. I wasn't sure how thick this clear slime would turn out, but I was still super excited to try it out. I decided to add some silver leaf to it, as well as some sprinkles and some glitter and foam beads, of course. As you can probably tell by the video, I did overactivate this slime by quite a lot. It was quite a difficult glue to use and to try and form it into slime, but I turned it into a really thick overactivated clear slime. And after leaving it for a few weeks, it did actually turn into quite a thick clear slime. It just wasn't very stretchy and it had quite a bit of a rubbery feel to it.
Next up, I decided to try the white glue mixture. I added the white glue to my bowl and then I started adding a little bit of activator to see how it would turn out. And this time round, I added very, very little activator to try and not over activate it like last time. I ended up act over activating it again, but it was still a lot of fun to mix all the different goodies together. And on a side note, if you end up over activating your slime, you can always add a little bit of baby oil and microwave it for a few seconds until the baby oil is nicely mixed into the slime and it should fix your slime quite nicely. Personally, I just prefer leaving the slimes for a few weeks to a few months to try and loosen it up a little bit and that almost always works. So for this slime, I also just left it for a few weeks and it also just turned into a really, really awesome thick basic slime it also still had a slight rubbery feel to it but it was still really nice and holdable and thick overall i spent 590 rand in total which is just over 41 dollars i really really enjoyed all of the slimes and the diy kit included in this order it was a lot of fun playing with all of them if you would like to check out more from the slime box, make sure to go to the link in the description of this video and you will find all of their details over there. This next slime account that I will be reviewing in this video is Bits and Blobs and this slime account has been around for ages as well. It was one of the first slime accounts that I reviewed in a YouTube video ages and ages and ages ago if you want to go and have a look at that video. This slime package came with a bunch of slimes as well as some candy extras some free rose gold leaf which i'm super thankful for as well as this beautiful free slime it's not my favorite colors that i've ever mixed together in a slime but it ended up being a super super thick and soft and stretchy clay slime it was lightly scented like banana and the end color was just beautiful Here we have the first slime that I ordered. I don't know why I got two of them in my order. I only ordered one and this is a cloud slime called cotton cake for 80 rand each and as you can see here this slime is extremely fluffy. As soon as I started stretching it it just drizzled immediately which was really really awesome for a cloud slime the slime was so 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 puffy and it was just so much fun to drizzle it and squish it the slime had a slight sweet scent to it i'm not sure if it's cake scented or cake batter scented or what it was but it was a really pleasant smelling slime and it was also a lot of fun to play with and the color was also really soothing i really really liked this light orangey yellow color Next up we have creme brulee and this is a beautiful layered clear and clay slime for 79 rand each and when I checked my order confirmation I saw that I accidentally ordered two of them and it was actually a super super happy accident because this was one of my favorite slimes in this order and I ended up having even more to play with which I really really enjoyed. This was such a fun slime to mix together. It was so thick and glossy and stretchy and it made the best bubble pops. This slime had the same sweet scent as the cotton cake slime that I reviewed before this one but this one also had a hint of chocolate to it. It was really really yummy and delicious smelling and as I was playing with the slime enjoying my bubble pops I also noticed that each one came with a cute little charm which was just an added cute little touch to each of these slimes.
This next slime is called Jolly Crunch and this is a beautiful green clear slime topped with lots and lots of slushy beads and I also think there's a little touch of pigment in it because it really had a beautiful pearlescent shine to it and my favorite thing about this slime was the scent. It was probably my favorite smelling slime out of all the slimes in the package. It had a really yummy candy apple type scent to it that was just absolutely delicious. And the slime was also super, super stretchy and crunchy. And it made really, really awesome bubble pops. Some of my favorite clear slimes are ones that are made with foam beads or slush beads. So I really, really enjoyed this one. And here we have the last slime from this package. This one is a clear slime called Sprinkle Pop and it was 89 Rand. I actually really, really love the simplicity of this slime with the spots of blue and red dots in the slime. I think it's super, super cute. The slime was incredibly thick and putty-like and it was really stretchy as well, which I really, really, really enjoyed. This was definitely one of my top favorite slimes in this package. In total, I spent 490 Rand, including shipping, which comes to just over 34 US dollars. I really, really enjoyed all of the slimes in this package. And if you would like to get hold of bits and blobs, I will link all of their details in the description of this video. Next, I ordered a bunch of slimes from Kristen's Fantastic Slime on Instagram and this order came to a total of 250 Rand including shipping and just look at all of the slimes that I got. I ordered five surprise slimes and she surprised me with a few extra slimes as well. I was also charged 30 Rand per slime whereas her usual price is 50 Rand per slime so this was an amazing deal and I was just so happy opening up the box and seeing all the different colors and slimes included in the box. I also got a few little extras that were super super sweet and cute and I really really appreciate it. All of the slimes came packaged in these super durable screw top containers and the labeling on the side as well as the logo labels were so professionally done and just made the entire jar look really pretty and professional. The first slime that I will be reviewing from this package is this gorgeous swirled slime called bottom of the deep blue this slime reminded me of the ocean it is so 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 beautiful i think it's a swirl of basic slime and thick 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 jelly slime it was so much fun to mix it all together and to see what the end texture would be it was a little bit rippy but as i stretched it more and more it started to warm up in my hands and it became a really thick and bubble crackly type of semi jelly slime Next up we have this beautiful beautiful cloud slime called Snow White. It is a white cloud slime topped with a bunch of these beautiful iridescent sparkly glitters and as I initially took it out of the slime jar I could already feel that this would be an incredibly poofy and fluffy cloud slime which I was really really happy with. As I stretched it it just fluffed up more and it was so much fun to mix all of the glitters into this beautiful white cloud slime. The slime also had a really really nice lotion floral type scent to it that was really pleasant.
And next up, we have one of my favorite slimes from this package. This one is called Honey Lemon Tea, and it is a super, super, super thick yellow basic slime. And I could definitely smell hints of lemon and tea in this slime. So it was really, really nice to play with this one. It made the best bubble pops. It had a slight rubbery texture to it, but it was still incredibly stretchy. Next up we have Tutti Fruity and this one felt like a thick icing slime to me. My favorite part about this slime was the beautiful iridescent yellow glitter sc scattered on top of the slime and the inis initial sizzles of this slime was also amazing. I absolutely loved it. The slime wasn't very stretchy and it also left a slight oily residue on my hands while playing with it. Okay, this next slime called Berry Surprise is my one of my absolute favorite slimes that I have ever received in a review package. This is a clear slime and it is so incredibly thick and gummy like. It was so holdable and stretchy and perfect in every way. I absolutely loved the color as well. I had to get it closer to my filming light so that you could see the true color in this video. It is so simple and yet so perfect in every way. I absolutely loved playing with this one and it was by far my favorite slime in this package. And as I stretched the slime more and more and more, it ended up giving me the best bubble pops ever. Next up, we have this beautiful swirled cloud slime called Amy, inspired by one of her stuffed bunnies called Amy. This is a beautiful slime. I really, really loved mixing all of the different colors together and seeing the little sparkles of glitter mixing into the slime. This slime was supposed to be a cloud slime, but it wasn't as fluffy as the snow white slime that you saw a few slimes ago. This one kind of felt more like an icing slime to me. And then lastly, we have another cloud slime and this one is called Love Potion. I love, love, love slimes that have a layer of glitter on top of them because it just makes it so much fun to mix everything into the slime. This slime smelled so good. It smelled like candy to me, whereas the previous slime sort of had a lotion scent. This one had a hint of sweetness as well, which was really, really awesome. This cloud slime also kind of felt more like a thick icing slime. It didn't 
didn't drizzle as much as the snow white slime but still i loved playing with the slime and mixing in all of the glitters and the scent was just amazing As I mentioned at the start of this review package unboxing, I spent a total of 250 Rand including shipping which works out to just over 17 US dollars. So as you can see this package was worth every cent and it was great value for money. I really enjoyed all of these slimes so definitely go and have a look at Kristen's Fantastic Slimes on Instagram. All the details will be linked in the description of this video. And here we have the last South African slime account that I will be reviewing in this video and this is Gloop Troop. I was so excited to open all the slimes from them. I ordered a total of five slimes as well as this cute little combo pack. I was really really excited to try everything out and before I get into the slimes can we just appreciate how gorgeous their logo is. It is so fun and it just makes me excited to try all of the different slimes. If you've watched this entire review video, you will know that I absolutely love crunchy slimes. So naturally this beautiful green crunchy slime filled with semi medium jumbo foam beads was the first one that i would grab and play with the slime was super super crunchy it wasn't the stretchiest slime it kind of felt like icing slime mixed with a few foam beads so i think that might be why it wasn't the stretchiest but as if you stretched it slowly you could still get lots and lots of really awesome bubble pops out of the slime My favorite thing about this slime was the glow aspect to it. So the jars that have the glow gloop troop label on them glow in the dark. So I charged the slime with a little bit of my UV light and then it gave this beautiful, beautiful glow in the dark sparkle that was just so, so, so much fun. And next up we have this beautiful, gorgeous purple basic slash clay slime. I think this one had a hint of clay in it. I loved the initial sizzles and it was also a really super super thick and clicky basic slime. It wasn't the stretchiest but if you stretch it slowly, slowly you could stretch it quite far and still get really really awesome bubble pops from it. Here we have one of my favorite slimes from this entire package. This is another glow in the dark slime and this is a light pink cloud slime and this one was super fluffy as you'll see here. As soon as I started stretching it, it started to puff up which was really really awesome and I really really enjoyed fluffing this one up and drizzling it.
The slime sort of lost its fluffiness as I played with it more, but when I left it to stand for a little while, it still puffed up when I played with it again. So you just need to leave it a little bit and then it will puff up after a little while. And my favorite part about this slime was definitely the glow in the dark aspect. It is so mesmerizing to see the little dots of glow in the dark throughout the slime. Up next we have another glow slime and this one is a white icing slime and this one was not particularly stretchy but it was still quite a holdable slime so I think this one was maybe just meant for one-handed playing as well as some pokes here and there. I wouldn't recommend stretching this one and I absolutely loved the glow in the dark aspect of this slime. It is just beautiful and reminds me of a galaxy. I think this next slime that they included in my package was a free one. I'm really thankful for it. It looks so delicious. I love, love, love the addition of the foam beads on top. It really looks like some type of chocolate dessert. And then this slime is also another glow slime. So I was super, super excited to mix everything together and then to see what the glow in the dark aspect of this slime would look like. I think the slime was a mixture between cloud and icing slime. It kind of puffed up slightly like a cloud slime initially, but then it just sort of turned into an icing slime. I absolutely loved, loved, loved the crackles that this slime made and the glow, glow in the dark of this slime was also really, really awesome. Here we have another one of my absolute favorite slimes from this package. This was a beautiful layered jelly slime. They called it a slush slime, so I actually thought I was getting a crunchy, slushy slime, but I got a beautiful jelly slime instead, topped with a little scatter of some Fimo slices. This slime was so stretchy and made the best crackles. I really, really, really enjoyed playing with this slime. Like all of the slimes before this one wasn't scented like anything i was hoping that it would have a fruity or citrus type scent to it The logo label also suggested that this one would have some glow-in-the-dark sparkle to it, so I tested it out. This one didn't have as much glow sparkle as the ones before, but there was still a slight sparkle, which was a lot of fun to sort of play with with my little UV light. And next up we have a free aromatherapy slime that they included in my package for me. And as a little side note, I absolutely love the differences in the logo lab labels. Like the glow ones have this beautiful green and yellow label and then the other ones have a rainbow label and then these ones have this beautiful calming sort of pink and purple label which is just really calming to look at i absolutely love it this slime was made with a really pleasing blend of aromatherapy 
the essential oils. I'm not sure what they are, but they are really calming and strong, which is what you want in an aromatherapy slime. I really enjoyed playing with this slime. I think it was a mixture between a cloud and an icing slime. It was really holdable and it made really nice little bubble pops. And then lastly, we have the combo box that I ordered. This one came to 125 Rand and I got some foam beads in this one, as well as a glow slime, an aromatherapy slime, and then two different other textures. I really like this option because you get to experience a bunch of different slimes and you can also mix in some foam beads if you want. First up we have this glossy purple basic slime and I decided to add these beautiful pink and purple glitters to the slime. The slime was super super glossy but it wasn't my favorite slime that was included in this package. It wasn't stretchy and it had a very strong wood glue scent to it so I didn't really enjoy playing with the slime but I can really really appreciate the beautiful glossiness of it. And then next in the combo pack, we have two glow slimes. We have a jelly slime and then a pink icing slime. I was really excited to play with these ones. Their glow was absolutely gorgeous. First up, we have the blue jelly slime. This one was super stretchy and I really, really enjoyed playing with it. It was really thick as well and holdable and made really, really awesome bubble pop pops and crackles. And then next from the combo pack we have the pink icing slime. I decided to add some colorful foam beads to this one and I really really enjoyed doing that. This slime was super stretchy and holdable and I really really enjoyed this one as well. It was a perfect icing slime and it had some glow to it which just made me love it even more. And then the last slime from the combo pack is this beautiful purple semi-cloud icing type slime made with a blend of aromatherapy oils. The aromatherapy scent in the slime was very strong, which is what you want in aromatherapy slimes. I really, really enjoyed playing with this slime. And it seems the only slimes in the package that were scented were the aromatherapy ones.
In total, I spent 489 Rand, which came to just over 34 US dollars. I really enjoyed opening up this package. All the slimes were so professionally labeled and the glow in the dark aspect of a lot of them was just so much fun to experience. If you want to go and have a look at the page, definitely go and look at the links in the description of this video. And again, if you want to have a look at all the different slime accounts mentioned in this video, all the relevant links will be in the description of this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And we have loads of other review videos on our channel. They are some of our most popular videos. So definitely go and check them out if you enjoyed this video.